live. This is one for the record. I'm Diana, and today is July 20th, 2016. Here are your radiation news updates for today. Alrighty then. Over here, we have heads up. Denver, Colorado, CPM currently is 415 counts per minute. Now the low has been 177, the high has been 444. Not sure about the what it means for the, here we go, the average 254 counts per minute of gamma in energy range of 600 to 800 kev. Right I'm three hours ahead of them, so, or two hours ahead of them. Yes, they're at, still in, in July 19th. All right, it's 1137, their time. Alrighty then, heads up over there. I was watching Mary Greeley's video, so I'm attaching hers. Hers was done earlier. So I wanted you to see what's going on with hers. I'm putting that after this video in the recent uploads. Alrighty then, it's up there now. So once this goes on top of it, it's gonna, it's, it'll be after this video. If you're watching the recent uploads. All right, but this, this, I remember when 100 was too high. It was like the big alert for when, when it was, if, if we ever got up to 100. Now we have something else going on down lower. Let's see with this one, it's only, it's like only a half a one. Hmm. Now it still has that orange and black, but it's saying it's only currently 30. In Metain, Louisiana. Here's another one hidden over here. Let's get rid of this one. It won't open that one. Yeah, how strange. There's another one in this area, though. It's in between the green. Hmm, there we go. Let's see if we can get in here. Well, in this area, heads up. It's probably the one in New York. All right, let's see what else is going on. Everything else? Some of them just don't want to. Looks like they actually. There's things behind here, and they're like covered up. Here's one. See, you could barely see it. It's down in here. You have Shirley, New York, currently at 114 counts per minute. Alrighty then. Now we'll go into I'll pause this and we'll go into E and E news. It's up here going across. So let me go into E and E news and read you some of some of their updates. It's not a lot of updates. It's, it, there's like weeks, sometimes months in, in between some of the updates. Not a lot of information being let out. Alright, let's pause this. Any e news, energy news, Japan, Fukushima, July 15th, photographer sneaks into Fukushima, I can feel a burning sensation in my eyes and thick chemical smell, we drove straight out, an almost entirely lifeless post-apocalyptic world, it was amazing, radiation leakage, is damaging environment and life 
in Pacific. Now, the one under it, let's see if I can scroll that up. The one under it is very interesting. It's like out of a horror movie. All the way back in June, June 28th. Look at this one. Highly radioactive glass rained on Tokyo. Fukushima nuclear fuel was 500 trillion becquerels per kilogram found. Significant consequences for human, human health. Scientists. This changes understanding of disaster. Extreme importance. Our ideas of health Implications should change. Do not discuss on social media. Alrighty. Let's move on. E N E News, Energy News, July 7th, U.S. Canada. Like the plot of a summer horror flick, all along Canada's Pacific coast, muscles are dying. Bodies are swollen by cancerous tumors. Unprecedented mutations allowing cancer to spread from one species to another like a virus. Scientists, it's beyond surprising. And we go further down. And it skips all the way down to... June 8th, 2016. I probably reported on this one. That's why I, I've been waiting in between. I mean, the information's not coming out. Spike in number of U.S. sailors dying after Fukushima radiation exposure. Now over 400 veterans suffering serious illnesses. Former Japanese Prime Minister breaks down crying. This can't be ignored any longer. The, no, the, number, the number of sick people is increasing and their symptoms are worsening. Um, alrighty then. I want everyone to be safe. Be prepared for anything. Be ready for anything. And it's surprising how when the RNC is going... So all eyes are watching something else. The radiation is spiking, just spiking very high. Wonder if that's a coincidence. Mm -hmm. All right. It is now going into Wednesday hump day by the time you see this. So it will be just barely three days down. To, to go before the weekend. Please be safe. Be prepared for anything. And I'll see you again on the flip side. Alrighty then. By law, have to have somewhere to put the cement fuel rods. They promised us they would have the cement fuel rods taken care of by 1976, then by 1982, then by 1985, then 1991. It's 2013, you still storm on site.